everyone. I'm Carolyn Cole, and I'm the chair of the Eastern Shoveltown Cultural District. And I'm also on the board of trustees of Oaks Ames Memorial Hall. We are very excited to have Southeast School of Music do their fourth benefit performance for us at Oaks Ames Memorial Hall on March 29th at 7.30 p.m. And Rich Cesarini and Jack Colombo are the owners and teachers at um, Southeast School of Music. And we are very, very grateful to you. Um, people don't realize how much um, help getting some of the things done at, at Oak Ames that need repair. Uh, the, the benefits really do help and we really appreciate it and we're glad to have you back again this year. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah, and great. We enjoy it a great deal. Now, Rich and Jack have a long music history and I want them to tell you a little about it. And um, there's so many details in it, and it's so exciting, their future um, in the school. And um, it's expanding uh, teachers that have a following, kids that want to learn music, adults. Um, it's great for seniors learning music. If, um, if you're not aware of it, music is a mathematical progression. And it does stimulate your brain and keep your memory going. So think of Southeast School of Music when you're looking for lessons. Now, Jack. Well, thank you. I, I'd like you to talk about Rich. Tell them all about me. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> how you, aren't you friends from high school yeah. and everything? Um, what year did we meet? Well, shortly after I got out of high school, Jack and I met. Jack's a few years older than I am. But uh, no. we met in 83, I think. Somewhere around there. Yeah, and, and, and it was a funny set of circumstances. I, was, um, I, played, uh, I played a gig at Anthony's on the West Bridgewater Brockton line, right? Remember the place across the street mm -hmm. that had all the old cars mm -hmm. that were really cool? Mm -hmm. and all that. So I played there, and it was snowing when my gig got done. And I had an old beater of a car, and I had to leave the trunk open in order to transport my keyboards, and I didn't want to take them home in a snowstorm with the trunk open, so I left them there overnight, went back the next day to get them, and Jack was loading in for his gig there for the following night, and uh, our fathers knew each other. They worked together um, at the what was then the Edison Company in, in mm -hmm. Brockton, and um, you know, my dad would come home with stories about this keyboard player who was touring in Canada or whatever, the son of the guy he worked with, and his father would come home to him with similar stories. So we already knew of each other before we even met. It was, right? Is that about right? Yeah. yeah. It was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and, and uh, yeah, we became friends in instantly. We've known each other, hung around, um, you know, went to each other's weddings, everything. And, and, uh, and so... And here we are, uh, what, like 10 years later? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. so. But um, Rich, um, he's a great piano player. So, yes, he is. Yeah, he's an incredible musician, and he's played with a lot of different people. Um, the night of this benefit, one of the groups that he performs with is a very well-known regional group called the Terrifics. Great name. <laughs> uh, you know. and, um, he works with Steve George, he's the other half of the duo. Steve is an incredible vocalist and guitar player. Really, really good. And they do an acoustic duo, Rich plays piano, mm -hmm. sometimes accordion with that. Jim. What's the yeah, other? I play accordion too. I'll play and some accordion that yeah, night. Yeah. Yeah. And they throw in a mix of rock, um, acoustic rock, folk. Yeah. Blues. Yeah. So it's a very eclectic, eclectic mix of different styles. Everything from uh, what Springsteen. Yeah. To Paul even, Simon. To Muddy yeah. Waters. Yeah, to Waters, to so Pete it, Seeger. Yeah. To anything. Anything. Yeah, great. If we like it, we play it. That's mm -hmm. that's kind of how we, mm -hmm. we we do it. Yeah. And he, you also work with a group called the Experts. Which yeah. Are terrifics in the Experts. What does and that he, say about me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And the experts, they're, they're wonderful. They're, they're made up of um, some Berkeley professors um, that are, of course, excellent, excellent musicians. Mm -hmm. um, one being the guitar player, John Finn, for the Boston Pops, right? And yeah. so uh, yeah. he's with a really good 
bunch of musicians and they focus on classic rock. Yeah, 70s sort of, classic yeah. along the lines of um, Steely Dan and Toto and, and uh, some Boston, and some Almond Brothers, lots of Almond Brothers, oh, yeah, good and all that. Yeah, it's it's completely that. different from the Terrifics, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's all fun music to play, you know. Yeah, and like seven people in that group. Actually. Nine, yeah. nine. Well, yeah. So and are they're you admitting great. to growing up with them? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another group. Well, he, and you play with the John Finn group as well. Right. Wh for right. Them. Right. Yep. Which is made up of five members of the experts, but it really is a completely different band with a completely different catalog of songs. Yeah. Mm. A lot of John. John writes a lot of the music for that band. Okay. So. He's very diverse, and he fills in with a lot of groups. If you need a keyboard player or anybody, he can do it at the drop of a hat. I have some upcoming gigs Studio. in Taunton with the Troublemakers. And See? Yeah. Terrific. Good stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's great, and he, he, they, they do a great set, so it will be very enjoyable. Yes, it always is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> now, Rich, tell us something. You want me to talk about Jack? Yep. Oh, the things I could say. Um, <laughs> no, Jack, Jack is also a, a fantastic musician and um, a great business partner. We're having a lot of fun running the music school these past almost four years now and um, putting together these, being part of these, these fundraisers and so forth. But Jack plays, Jack's first instrument is, is organ rather than piano. So he has that unique capability of... Um, of kicking bass pedals and keeping bass lines with his feet while he plays a rhythm part with one hand and a lead part with another hand and it's really really something to, something to see and something to watch uh, I don't know how I can't relate I have enough uh, you know it's, it's enough just to play the keyboard part of things but um, he, he really and, and he does a lot of um, his own arrangements of, of songs you know from soundtracks um, Emerson Lake and Palmer type tunes and, and, and so forth. And he's always, always, in all of his bands, has incorporated uh, some, of, um, some of the kicking bass and, and so forth. And he also plays with Charlie Thomas and the Drifters, or Charlie Thomas's Drifters, I'm not sure how it's billed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's basically, he's been their music director in the past and still directs some of their shows and, and so forth. And, and um, you know, arranges the songs and, 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 and does all these cool shows at cool venues like um, the, the arena at, um, uh, is it Foxwoods or? Mohegan. Mohegan, I'm sorry. And, um, That's okay. and, and other things. So he's, he's got quite the career going too. Both of us are actually music directors at different parishes in, in Brockton too. Jack is at St. Edith Stein where he directs the choir and chooses all the music for the services and everything. And I'm at our Lady of Lords in 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 Brockton as well, and where I do where I do the same thing. Which camera should I look at? <laughs> and, uh, and 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 so so you know it's and, and and on top of our student base and and other other such pickup things, it's it, we both stay quite busy. But uh, Jack's a great a great musician, and uh, and and you know the the, the show is going to be. Fun. So the show will be my duo, the Terrifics, and it'll be followed by Jack's duo. Um, do you guys have a name yet? We just go on to our names. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, your name first or John's name first? Whose name is first? I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm teasing. We always say that it's, Jack is a one-man, four-keyboard orchestra. Right, and which is basically really true. true. Yeah, it's true. Uh, joking aside, uh, it's just Jack and a drummer. Jack plays the bass lines primarily with his with his feet and he keeps all of the parts going on the keyboards and and so forth it's really it's it's and it's a huge sound it's fun to watch you know um and so you should come to the show don't wait for it to come out on netflix and and uh well yeah and John. of course i'm sorry yeah, yeah. Is, uh, i went to school with john and he and i've been working on and off you know for many many years he's a great drummer and you know, it's a very comfortable playing with him. Mm. You know, we've been playing so long together, so it's great. Now, do you have any shows coming up? Like, I, I went to this fabulous show at the Zaitarian Theater mm -hmm. last year. Do you have anything like that coming up? We have a Zaitarian coming up again. Oh, good. When? With, um, it's the last Saturday of April. I should know oh, the wow. date because I'm playing it, but maybe the 29th, perhaps, but it's the last Saturday at the 
Zyterian Theater in New Bedford, and there's four recording groups from there, one being the Drifters, and three other groups as well. So did you, did you name the other groups yet? Have they chosen um, them? The Pardon? Times, who has had a few hits out in the 60s and 70s, the Passions, and the Del Satins. Oh yeah, the Del Satins, yeah. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> so. so I hope you will all stop in and um, get tickets. Uh, we'll have them run at the, at the end of the um, taping where you can get tickets, but tickets will be sold at the music school, they'll be sold at the art co-op on Main Street, and they're online at um, www.aimshall.org, uh, yeah, O-R-G, and they're available online at that site. Um, tickets are very inexpensive, they're $12.50 for adults, um, $5 for children over eight years of age, and we have a package if you have a, if you have a large family, there's um, family prices, to, maxes out at $40. So if you have a large family, um, you won't be paying a lot of money for the tickets. But um, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And we have vendors here too. Yes, we do. Mike we Phil. have um, Shoveltown Brewery who will be mm -hmm. here, and also Dolce Cupcakes with some snacks and goodies. Um, for Dolce us. has the best whoopie pie, so you gotta oh, come this really for those. Have, yeah. They really do, yeah. they really are fabulous. Low calorie too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, and tickets are available at the door. So we hope to see you there. It's gonna be an, an extraordinarily fun night, and you'll be sorry if you miss it. Really sorry. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks everyone. Thank you.